We talk National Nutrition Week with uh, dietitian Tanya Johnson with UAMS. And she has a great, healthy, delicious recipe. I think when we come into this time of the year, mm -hmm. we think about maybe eating a little lighter, eating a little better as we head towards summertime. And she'll have one of those recipes for us. From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News, Good Morning Arkansas. Next, we're celebrating National Nutrition Week and sharing a great, healthy recipe. Stay with us. Happy Nutrition Week. It's a big celebration. Dietitians make it their career to teach us what foods make us as healthy as we can be. Tanya Johnson, a dietitian and director of uh, nutrition services at UMS, joins us now with a healthy, delicious recipe. Welcome. Yes. Hi, thank you. Glad to be here. Happy National Nutrition Week. Thank you. That's what all of us dietitians live for. <laughs> That's right. You, you, you do. You're, you're trying to teach, I guess, people or facil facilitate people in better nutrition all Correct. the time. Correct. Uh, dietitians play a key role in the medical treatment plan of, you know, like diabetes, heart disease, yeah. weight loss, celiac disease, cancer treatment. So we play a big role, and this is just a time that we can, you know, celebrate our profession. I think uh, a lot of people say, well, I just need to, I know that I need to probably have fewer calories, and I need less fat in my diet, and I need less sugar in my diet. Are those always the things that you're looking at? Not necessarily. So when we look for people to a healthy eating plan, we look at incorporating all kinds of food in your diet. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't like to eliminate anything. And so when people say, oh, I'm avoiding fat, well, you don't need to avoid all fat. There's good fats and there's bad fats. We right. really encourage people to eat healthier fat versions, which are plant-based, not necessarily animal-based. And as far as sugars, sugars occur naturally in mm -hmm. food. What we look for is foods that have added sugar. Right. That's the kind of things you want to avoid. You hear a lot about that, uh, yeah. added sugars versus, versus natural sugar. Yeah. And fortunately, the uh, Food and Drug Administration has now said that by July of this year, all food labels have to have a distinction between added sugars and naturally occurring well, sugars. Well, now that's, that's good because yes. a lot of times you look at something and, and the carbohydrate level is through the roof on right. something or the sugar uh, content. Right. Okay, well, that's good. That's a good change. And I'm, I'll bet you uh, dietitians oh, yeah. prompted that. Okay. Yes, we did. <laughs> All right. Um, but there are ways that we can reduce uh, the amount of bad fat that we take in. I think, I think you've got yeah, a good actually, example. Yeah, actually this is a really good example right here. So one of the things that we've done with this hamburger, when people think about hamburgers they think, mm -hmm. oh that's not good for me, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a high in animal fat. Right. But what we did here, this is what we call a blended burger. We took 30% mushrooms and 70% beef, mixed it together and we made a hamburger. And decreased the fat content. And we decreased the fat, we decreased the cholesterol, the calories and the sodium and by adding in the mushrooms you add in fiber and a lot of vitamins and minerals that you wouldn't normally have. Look at and that. with this particular mushroom blend you can do this at home. You can use it in spaghetti sauce, lasagna, um, any place you use ground beef, tacos. It's really very versatile and your kids can't taste the mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You have to hide the packaging yes. from it. In my family, I love mushrooms, but nobody else in my family does. Right. So. I tricked my kids, and, uh -huh. they, and my daughter actually ate one of these yesterday. Yeah. had no clue there was mushrooms <laughs> in it. But if and I had told her it now. was a mushroom, no, yeah. she's in school. That's right. She would have never tasted it. That, that's right. They won't even, they won't even try that. Exactly. All right. Uh, are, are there other ways that we can get uh, grains and fibers and things in our diet? Yes. One of the, the theme for this year's National Nutrition Week is go further with food. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to have a lot of food waste. So, and I've been called a witch doctor in the kitchen before by some <laughs> of my friends because really you can put anything together and make a salad. So we all have those leftovers in our cupboard mm -hmm. that you just don't know what to do with. You might have a little bit of wild rice, a little right. bit of brown rice, some barley, some couscous that you've bought for other dishes and you've got just a little bit of amount of it in there. Well, you can throw it together and this is a barley delicious uh, a multi-grain salad. It is. So I took the grains that we had and then a little bit of roasted garlic, some carrots, onions, celery, you know, just random things, some lentils for some protein, threw it all together and made a salad. That's, uh, I think that's always a good thing. Use what you have in your house. Exactly. And pick and choose and get a little color on it. You're right. probably headed in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tanya, thanks so much. Uh, let's take a look at the information for uh, UAMS and and uh, you can uh, contact them at any time and they'll help you. 686-8000 and UAMSHealth.com.
Happy National Nutrition Week. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Good ideas.